Hello. Well, Merry Christmas. This is Saturday, December 24th, Christmas Eve. I thought I'd get out of the house today, take a little hike. It's uh, been very wet. We had a pretty good rain last night throughout the morning. Starting to sprinkle down. Thought I'd get out a little bit on the trail, uh, pitch the tarp, have a little meal. Uh, cabin fever is starting to set in, although it's not just now turned winter. But I uh, thought I'd get out today. There's no one on the trail. Nice, peaceful. So hopefully uh, we'll have a little meal, have a little chat, and see how it goes. So why don't you join me and have a Merry Christmas, and we'll call this our Christmas Eve hike. Come on. Spot. I'm going to set up a, a ridge line for my tarp and uh, have a little place to eat.
set thing our way. I don't want it to spill. I don't want that thing to come back over here on my lap. Oh, beautiful day. If you like rainy days, which I don't mind, just to get out of the house is great. Put up a little quick, quick shelter. Just something to keep the moisture off of your head. I got a plastic bag over the camera. How's your uh, fall slash winter been going? It's been a while since I've been out. And uh, what are you doing this Christmas? And uh, what are you waiting on here? What are you wishing for this Christmas? Well, I'm not wishing for anything particular, just good health. Blessing from God. All you can ask for, right? Maybe another year to live. Just hopefully next year we can continue on our hiking, our fishing, photography. But uh, for right now, it feels great to be in the outdoors. I love it. Even though it's even though it's pouring rain, it don't matter. It's just fine. It's getting there. It's, it's coming along, water's about to boil. I had to change the water, there's all kinds of little grit and leaf matter in the water, so. There we go. She's steaming now. Okay, let's be careful as we pour this into the bag. You don't want to burn yourself out here on the trail. It'd be terrible. Couldn't think of anything worse. You know, I had a serious uh, burn from a pot of uh, hot coffee one time. I was working in a restaurant called Burger Chef in Greenville, in my hometown. Um, I forget exactly what happened, but uh, I don't know if I was cleaning off the counter or someone bumped into me, but that entire pot of hot coffee um, poured directly into my shoe. Uh, I remember having to go to the hospital that night and as they took my shoe off, uh, some hide came off too, stuck to my sock. It wasn't quite third degree, but it was a real serious second degree uh, to where some of the skin peeled off. And uh, in fact, I was going camping that night I ended up going camping. My cousin and a friend of mine he met me. So, uh, needless to say, uh, I was in pretty good pain trying to uh, sleep that night in a sleeping bag, you can imagine. But, uh, yeah, you don't want to get a uh, serious burn from boiling water or a fire or anything out here in the wild. It just isn't fun. out my utensils.
been a good boy this year? I think I have. But will Santa Claus bring me anything? He never has. That's okay. I don't believe in Santa Claus anything. Anyway, the one I believe in is Jesus Christ. He's the reason we celebrate Christmas. And I hope you know the Lord. I hope you've come to know, to know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and what it means to believe in Him that you shall live ever after. No pain, no suffering. And I hope you've been reading your Bible, especially the end times. The end times is very, very critical right now. There's things that's happening uh, that the Bible has spoke of that uh, we've got to keep our eye on. There's, there's signs. For one thing I'm, I'm looking at right now, one of the things it mentions in Revelations, Revelation or in the book of Matthew, chapter 24, and Daniel, I think chapter 7, about the abomination of desolation. That means uh, something is going to happen in the temple. Well, you know right now the Jews do not have a temple of worship. They've been crying out for one for many years. The last one was torn down hundreds of years ago. So in order for the abomination of desolation to occur, which means the Antichrist will, will desolate the temple, probably by um, stopping the sacrifice, the animal sacrifices. That's what many scholars seem to think. But anyway, Jesus says that's one of the signs of his returning. Well, so if Israel gets the okay to build the temple, folks, beware, because that is one of the turning events. In chapter 24, Jesus mentions many things like a falling away of the church, false prophets. He says, uh, if they say I'm here or I'm there, don't go, for he is the true prophet, and anyone else that says so, they're lying to you. Um, you know, in the book of Revelations, chapter 6, it talks about the, the seals. Uh, and, and in there is the four horsemen, the first of which will be the Antichrist. So, when these events happen, especially when the temple is built, approximately, according to the book of Daniel, approximately three and a half years after the temple is built, it will be, uh, the abomination of desolation will occur, and then that starts the tribulation, according to Jesus Christ. And then he says, after the great tribulation, and that's, that's supposedly during a seven year time frame. According to the book of Daniel, there's a, there's a 70th week that has not occurred yet. And each week is a representation of seven years. So when the temple begins building, uh, or once they start the building of the temple, three and a half years of that, after that time, the desolation will occur or the abomination of desolation. That, be, that, my friends, according to Matthew, according to Jesus, is the great tribulation. Sure, we've had tribulations, trials, and persecution throughout our lives, but these, Jesus says, tribulation like never have seen before. So, my friends, if you see that, and if you're not right with the Lord, you should get yourself right. Find out what it takes to, to uh, ask for forgiveness and believe upon Jesus Christ. And then according to the book, after the great tribulation, when the sun and moon turn dark, the stars fall from heaven and a great earthquake. That's in Matthew 24. That parallels the same thing that John speaks of in the book of Revelations. Um, in chapter 6, it's when the sixth seal is open. It says, when the sun and moon 
when the sun and moon go dark and earthquakes occur and the stars fall from heaven. So it parallels what Jesus was saying in the book of Matthew. So my friends, I'm telling you, if those things happen, make sure you and your family are secured in knowing Jesus Christ. For with, as bad as the great tribulation is, and that we all as Christians appear that we are going through that, I do not want to be here when the wrath of God occurs. Once we're raptured out, then the wrath of God is poured upon the earth. And my friends, that that is terrible. The tribulation is what the world does to Christians, and the wrath of God is what God does to the world. And man, oh man, I do not want to be here during the wrath. Something to think about. Okay, I think we're ready to eat. That's just a little food for your spirit. Now we'll have a little food for our stomach. Oh yeah. So I thought I'd share that with you in case many of you out there may not be aware of what the Bible says. Some of you may not even care, but I just felt the need to share that with you today. Christmas is over, we've had a couple of cold spells or even some snow, and I'm ready for spring. Mm. Now it's still coming down, not real hard, just steady, light rain. look good. Okay, it's time to hit the trail. I got everything cleaned up. Still raining. So before I leave, I'd like to wish every one of you a Merry Christmas, and I hope next year will be what you wish for, what you pray for. But just keep in mind, get right with the Lord, and accept Jesus Christ as your Savior. May you have a Merry Christmas, and God bless. See you next year.